if you haven't watched, uh, if, and I suggest you do, this uh, jig I make for inside out turning. This is, this, this is unbelievable how easy this is to make this jig and how fast you can turn these out. I just turned six of these out, the inside part, in about 20, 25, 30 minutes, something like that. But anyway, you can use any wood you want to. The only thing, every piece has to be exactly the same dimension as far as the width. The length can be any length, whatever you want to do. We're going to do this really short. We're either going to do a video just on me turning this one, uh, or maybe I'll turn two to show you how fast it is. That's all the prep, except for ripping. I did the ripping off camera yesterday. I ripped up enough for 16 ornaments, and I'll be putting them together. I'm going to do a real simple cove pattern and uh, show you how to do it. But that, that setup right there, uh, go watch my other video on uh, making a jig for inside out turning, and I'm going to show you how easy this goes if it goes easy like it usually does. I'm turning about 1500 RPE. If you get to do sanding and finishing, you have to do it at this time. Okay, that's the inside. Like I said, that's real time. Now I'm going to get another one. I'm going to show you how fast this sets up. We're not going to edit, we're not going to stop the camera. Turn it around and show you what it looks like. That's what it's going to look like on the, on the inside when you turn it around and glue it up. And like I say, I'll show you that later, but I'm going to go get another one and show you how long it takes. Okay. You don't have to have a chuck to do this. You can turn, as I showed in the earlier video, you turn two of these jigs and you put your spur set in. You don't have to have a tuck. Easier with the tuck. Not necessary. The inside, you do a heart. I'm gonna do a heart this time. Thank you. 
takes just a second pull it out flip it around and see what it looks like if you don't like it you can put it right back in there and turn it again there's your heart okay so we're going to come back tomorrow uh i'm going to shoot gluing this up for just a second We'll cut the camera off right now until I get ready to glue it up, and then I'll show you. Okay, it's just like any other glue up. I guess I can take my shield off. It's very important you wear that shield when you're turning anything. I mean, even the small stuff can come off and hit you in the head. So always wear your shield. And don't just wear safety glasses. I didn't invent this clamping system, but it's uh, something I probably saw on YouTube, I would imagine. And it is the best way. Okay. See, a lot of people use the clamps on hose clamps on the round pieces. You can also use it on square or rectangular pieces. Just put your hose clamp on there. And get it right there. You got to line all your points up. I see people number these, but they're turned the same all the way around so I don't never number them and these ornaments these inside out ornaments they do sell I mean I do some beautiful bowls and, and they just sit there on the shelf and people come by I get about $20, $25 a piece for these. Okay. There it is, and we're going to uh, cut the camera off. going to come back tomorrow when the glue dries, and we'll turn the rest of it. That's it. Yesterday, we turned the inside of this. We showed you how we used the jig and everything. And if I didn't mention it yesterday, this is purple heart and maple. And, uh, you, hey, you can take construction-grade pine and make these. I got one out there made out of this. And the, the thing about these is you can make them so fast. And I'm not saying I never have one fail because I do it once in a while. But uh, this, uh, I've got eight or 10 of these glued up and total time turning the inside and gluing them up, I may have an hour, hour and a half on. So uh, it's a pretty fast thing and it's something that will sell uh, believe me, I sell a lot of them. So, without further ado, the design is totally up to you. What we're learning first is that uh, doing inside. Doing a heart, it does look like a heart. And I have you want to follow this line and you have to get it in your mind that you're following that line to make this look like it should get rid of it. And that's 
the point right there is that you can cut through that dude in a hurry. So you want to keep looking at it. We're coming up about 1,500 RPMs. Some of my viewers are always telling me I don't say that enough. Before you go really small, before you go really small up there, it's a good idea to go ahead and rush it. Okay, now you want to try to get those flat spots out, and this is where you got to start being a little careful. So, you know, a little bit right here. Christmas ornaments in the Smith on the mute. There you go. Still got a little meat there. You get a little bit more off. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Stop. You're going to build the two.
pretty good. There's a little bit more tool more right here. Let's now we have to something. Actually resembles something. I don't know what it is now, but anyway. Thank you. 
có thì kê như thế thì là So, and I'll get inside of here in just a minute with a piece of sandpaper and sand all these edges where it has a burr. But I think pretty close to what I want. If you didn't watch my other video, if you not subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. making not making one so i'm using one and i said hey look and didn't have video to watch on it so i made, I made a couple of them and it worked so we made a video on it. and you can watch that video on the youtube channel blows by here and i've been turning a long time but i quit for a lot of years and that back, it's still a hobby, it's not really. I'm a cabinet maker by profession. I'm a contractor. But I like this a lot more. And you, you can go as far as you want to with this, but I'm trying to make an inexpensive project. So if you go too far, it's going to hurt your feelings when you can't sell it for big money. Okay, that's ready to part off. Uh, if we were going to do a, a finish on that, we would do it at this time. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to use an epoxy finish on this, so uh, I don't really have to do more to it. time I don't part these always off I take them out to the bandsaw because there's just too much danger of it flying off and I'm not really worried about it hitting me I'm worried about it breaking my piece that I just spent all this 15 minutes turning so she's going to follow me out to the bandsaw and I'm going to show you how to make the cross We're going to cut the end off first, of course. And I saw a few of these ornaments across the front. It's a lot easier than the slime stuff. Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to look at it and see where we want to cut that.
And that's it. One inside out heart with a cross on the bottom and some other little designs on it. You can let your imagination go wild. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you didn't like it, that'd be okay. We can take constructive criticism, but um, we would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.